everybody, my name is Paul Shirtliff. Uh, welcome to the Moonlit Fly Fishing YouTube channel and also West Texas Bugs Studio. So today in the vise um, is uh, the Dave's Hopper and uh, it's tied on a, a Moonlit MLO 52 or 54 hook and uh, for the the tag, I've got a piece of uh, dyed red uh, deer belly hair, hair. For the body, I have um, it's uh, Semperfly's poly yarn. And then I've got uh, a body hackle of um, speckled furnace from Whiting. And then the underwing is also deer hair. Um, and then the legs are golden pheasant. Uh, knotted and then the uh, the wing the over wing is uh, is a uh, model turkey it's a um, cinnamon tip turkey tail and then for the the hair head is uh, is um, just deer hair dyed deer hair stuff right here uh, spun and clips so let's get going on that So once again for the hook, this is a Moonlit Fly Fishing ML054 right here, and this is in a size 10. And for the thread, I'm going to be using uh, Semperfly's Nano Silk in 12 aught in white, and uh, I'm going to start that right about the. Uh, three-quarter spot and that's the point at which I want uh, my body and wing to end because that tells me where my head's gonna begin so I just put came down put a small layer on and then uh, back up so for the tag um, is gonna be this uh, dyed red deer belly hair you can use a uh, hackle or feathers if you want to, but so I'm just going to take out a few a few fibers and then uh, trim these out and stack them. Remember to try to get all the under fluff out whenever you're working with hair, because it will not want to cooperate with you if you don't. I'll just put this in my stacker. So I've got a small clump right here. I'm just going to kind of measure it. I don't want it to come very far. It's just going to be a small tag. So you're going to take that measurement and right here at my tie-in spot and just going to tie that in, tie that down and then I'm holding on to those uh, tips and I'm just going to kind of spiral wrap those that back. Keeping those on top as best as possible. And then I'm going to take those down into the bend just a little bit into the bend just like that and then clean I'm going to clean this up a little bit and then I can take off those butt ends Now, um, now I'm going to tie in this uh, Semperfly's poly yarn, and you can use just about, you can tie this in whatever color you want to, but I'm going to do a uh, yellow. So this is in a, uh, in a, in a yellow color, and this is it, this is it right here. 
Super flies, poly arm, and yellow. And I'm just going to take a uh, clump of that and it's right off the card. I'm not uh, reducing this at all. So it's right off the card. And I'm going to tie that in right there. <clears throat> So this pattern is uh, a pattern by Dave Whitlock. Okay. So I've carried that down, tied in right here. And if you've noticed, I haven't tied in anything past that point. Like I said, this is going to be a gauge to tell me where the body's going to end and where the head needs to begin. So right here at this point, at the back, now I'm just going to take and make a little loop. Just like that. And then tie that in. Tie that down again. A couple of really tight turns. And at this point, I'm going to tie in my hackle. And the um, hackle I'm going to be using is a speckled furnace from Whiting Farms. This is the saddle pelt. Oh. Anyway, I'm just, I've, already, I've already measured that out. And so I am actually measured it a lot smaller than what you might think. I only want those fibers to be about as wide as the gap or a little bit smaller. So I'm going to tie that in right at the back and I'm going to prep the feather just like I do with parachutes. I want the top or the, the shiny side to go forward. So I'm going to orient that feather with a tie-in spot so that that first turn will turn how I want it to just like this. And I'm going to tie that in right there, right, right where I doubled over the uh, poly arm. And make sure that's tied in real good. And then I'm going to bring my thread right up to where I tied everything in. And now I'm going to wrap the poly arm forward. see if that'll cooperate a little bit better for me. There we go. And I'm just going to wrap that poly yarn forward. Keeping that pretty as tight as I can. And right up here, I'm going to tie that off. A few really, really tight turns. And then I'll remove the excess. So I'm going to clean that up just a hair. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna polymer the uh, hackle forward. I'm gonna space that this out just a little bit. There we go. Nice even spaces. OK, 
Okay, that never happens. <clears throat> that just goes to show you how much pressure I was putting on that. So I get my hackle pliers out and start over again. So I tied that hackle off. And trim off the excess. And then for good measure right here, I'm gonna put a couple of half hitches in. And this just keeps my thread in position. I just break my thread. Okay. Okay, at this point, I'm going to put in a, a small underwing and I'm going to use this uh, yellow deer hair. And I don't want very much, just very, just enough to give uh, an impression of an underwing. And once again, you have all this fluff and stuff right here, and I'm just going to take that out. This one's pretty lined up, so I'm not even going to stack it. But I'm going to measure it kind of for length, and I want it to come just about to the end of the body. Right here. I'm going to come over with a couple of tight turns. And kind of collect those butts. Come in here with one cut, and... All right, now I'm ready for the overwing. And for the overwing, what I'm gonna be using is uh, the cinnamon tip turkey tail. Now this has been pre-treated with uh, Dave's Fleximent. It's, um, or uh, it's actually uh, called Flex Seal. And it's from Wopsy. But I've uh, pre-treated this and uh, all I did was put some stuff on there and, um, and then let it dry. And so all I'm going to do now is kind of uh, measure for width. So I've got uh, my width about, it's about the hook gap, the same as the hook gap, maybe a touch larger. And so with turkey, it's a lot, uh, the fibers are actually thicker towards the back than they are towards the front. So in order to keep this from splitting on me, I'm gonna actually tie it in from the tip back. So I'm gonna come up here and kind of measure and see where I want that tie-in spot to be. And I'm gonna make a, a straight cut on it, rather for a tie-in spot. I'm just going to kind of set that down and kind of roll it over on top, on the top. 
then I'm going to come over and tie that in with a few really tight turns. Now to create the uh, back of the wing, I'm actually going to continue that fold and then I'm going to come in with a back cut. And I want that wing just a little bit longer than the body. And see what that did is that turned the, made the wing like that. Then I'm just gonna round out because I don't want it a real sharp point. So I'm just gonna round that back just a little bit more. There we go. And now for the legs, what I'm going to be using is this um, golden pheasant. And what I've done is I've pre-knotted some legs. I just put an overhand knot in them. So there's lots of different ways to do that. So I've already I've already pre-knotted a few of them. So I'm just going to take take two of these legs. And they're about, I don't know, between six and eight individual fibers. And I'm just going to find which direction that it wants that it wants to go. And then I'm just going to tie it, tie it in. And I want those legs, I want that knot to come just about to the back of the body. Right there. To that first one. There we go. And I'm going to do the same one on my side. Before I go any further, I'm going to put a half hitch right here real quick. And this just keeps my thread in position where I want it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to trim those up. But I'm not going to trim them off super, super tight. Now what I'm going to do, because I found this adds a whole bunch of durability, <clears throat> and I'm going to put a little drop of super glue right here at the base of those thread turns, and where all the other materials are coming up, are tied in. I'm just going to put a little drop in there. That's just going to kind of keep everything together. I'm going to allow that to dry. Now while I'm allowing that to dry, I'm going to finish trimming up these legs and I'm going to pull them together and I'm pretty much going to take them in half. You can make them as long as you want to, but now I'm going to come out and thin these up just a little bit from both sides. While I got the super glue, I'm going to put a little drop on the knots of those legs and that'll keep them from coming undone. I 
allow that to drive in just a minute. And now I'm going to prepare the uh, the collar for this. And what I'm going to be using is this uh, is that same deer hair that I used for the underwing. And I'm going to take out a clump that's I don't know, a pretty good sized clump, bigger than you would think, or that you would use to use. That's a pretty good sized clump right there, and that's about right. So I'm going to take that off and then stack, clean it and stack it. Oh, this has a lot of uh, under fluff in it, so I'm going to do my best to get as much of that out as I can. I'm going to stack this. There, I've got my stack clump nice and stacked. to make sure my threads flattened a little bit and I'm just gonna measure this up and I want that to come about halfway down way down the body and I'm actually gonna kind of mold this around a little bit and then pinch it my thread through the deer hair and get it ready for the next clump. Okay, so for the next clump I'm actually going to spin it. I'm going to take a pretty good sized clump I don't have to stack it this time, but I'm going to spin it. I still got to clean everything out. So once again, it's got a whole bunch of this fluff and stuff. I'm just taking a comb to it. I'm just taking a comb to all this and combing this all out. Set this on top and I make sure my thread's flattened out so I'm going to give it a counterclockwise turn. I'm going to come over once, twice, and then put a little bit of pressure and then keep turning to tie it in. Bring that up to the eye, and then I'm going to pack that in a little bit. Give me space for another clump.
Okay, so I'm going to put another smaller clump on. Same process again. I don't have to stack it, but you got to clean it out. Okay, so I'm going to set that down again, and I'm going to come over one, two, I'm going to kind of support the eye, I'm going to be all fingers for, fingers and thumbs for just a second. Pack this back so I can find the eye. So now I've packed the hair, or spun it really good, and now I've found the eye, and now I'm going to whip finish it. I'm going to do two, two whip finishes with nano silk. So now comes the fun part. All I'm going to do is kind of uh, fluff this out a little bit. Normally I take this out of the vise to do this, but I'm going to leave this in the, if I do, you guys won't be able to see what I'm doing. So basically what I'm going to do is this is the, this is the eye of the hook and I'm going to make a straight cut flat on the bottom and then I'm going to kind of make a box shape. So I'm going to come straight through about right here and then right here and then about right in here straight cuts with a razor blade and I have the um, I have the double edge edge razor right here I'm gonna kind of turn this to my side so I can see and I'm gonna come a straight straight cut on the bottom all the way all the way over I'm just gonna take a little bit at a time so I can see what I'm doing Now I'm going to come another straight cut, uh, straight cut. Well, I've taken this out of the vise to do some of the final trimming. 
like some, I'm still working on it, but that's basically so you got the box shape on the head. There's my be a little bit more trimming. I'm just gonna kind of come up here on the head just a little bit. Eventually you gotta come to a point where good enough is good enough on these because if you keep trimming them, you'll wind up trimming off the entire head and then you'll have to start over again. So that's my Dave's Hopper. you enjoyed. Thank you.